Hey guys and welcome to my race video from the 2019 Tokyo Olympic test event. Uh, this was also the qualification event for a lot of countries uh, to qualify for the Olympic Games. And this is uh, as well the original Olympic 2020 Olympic course. So this is the exact same course that the 2020 Tokyo Olympics will be held on. I came out of the water uh, really well situated. Uh, actually, this was probably uh, one of the best swims I ever had on that level, like in the on the WTS level. And um, I pretty much caught the feet of Richard Waga um, after a few, uh, like after a 30 meters, 40 meters, and managed to uh, keep those feet and also didn't get into much into too much uh, carnage around the boys. So yeah, it was pretty good. I think um, after one lap, I was like 10th, uh, and then at the end, I was about 15th, I think. But coming out of the water, opposed to my good uh, form in the swim, I felt not really good on the... Like my legs felt just smashed uh, from the first step uh, back on land. And then, uh, yeah, I saw that I was in a really good position, so I was hoping that I might be able to just uh, get the first pack. And as you can see here, I just uh, tried to hold on to the back wheel of uh, Alessandro Fabian uh, in front of me. And we were pretty much, if maybe you can see the uh, two or three guys in front of uh, him. And then there was also two or three guys behind me. And all of them were kind of the, the first smaller chase group. And there was maybe uh, seven or eight guys in front, uh, about 10 seconds uh, ahead. So the, the probability was pretty high that we would still make it to the, uh, to the lead pack. But sadly, my legs were really bad um, on that particular day. Um, usually, like I would say, going above 350, 380 watts, that's like where the, where the hurt starts. But on that day, uh, just going 300 watts was, was really hard for me. It was my, my legs were screaming when I was going 320 watts. And that's usually something that I would, would be able to go for an hour or even, even longer. So um, yeah, um, I don't really know why um, I had so bad legs on that day. Because uh, in advance to the race, uh, all the training felt really good and um, also the swim was really good but then yeah uh, the, the the bike legs were just terrible and uh, yeah on that uh, race day the wind was blowing really hard uh, if you look at the direction we're going now it was coming from the left side and it was really like uh, 40 50 k per hour winds and uh, going through those uh, large houses and skyscrapers um, the wind was going even even stronger so I really wanted to get to the first group but um, yeah this was kind of like the time when I started to kind of drop off this uh, small chase pack and as you can see I was uh, already in the back of that chase, uh, chase pack there was nobody behind me and I always struggle to just uh, hang on there and after each uh, corner and there's a lot of corners uh, on that course um, I just had to go all out for 10 seconds 20 seconds and that just blew my legs um, on the front of our pack there's Kasper uh, Stornes from Norway and obviously he's one of the best riders in the field and uh, here again the wind was coming from the right side now uh, and it was also pretty technical so after the corners I'm maybe not the best uh, guy in the corners and then you have to catch back up uh, getting uh, that elastic band back down and yeah then the wind, wind comes from the right side and so you don't have a lot of draft there and I was just not I was just not able to uh, catch back up and the the gap just went bigger and bigger and I couldn't put in any more watts because my legs were just shit yeah it was a, a sad day for me on to be honest and uh, yeah so 
this part of the course uh, it's a little bit rough because you have these uh, it's not cobblestones it's like uh, paved uh, stones and but it's still very technical and also kind of narrow at some some points and there's basically just like you only go from one corner to the to the next uh, you always have to accelerate between the corners uh, then break again so you don't really have any any uh, any part of the course where you can really relax for for a, uh, a short time so here we go around the um, turnaround that is pretty much the the farthest away from the transition zone and this is really because the wind was blowing uh, from the back so we got a tailwind here and this was a part where it really gets fast so you go a little bit downhill uh, here and you get the tailwind in that on that day a really strong tailwind so the the pace just uh, picks up so much that the draft gets uh, lower and lower and you saw it in the women's race and as well in the men's race that if the group split up it was on that part of the course because uh, it's getting really fast and basically everybody has to push uh, the same watts because there's no draft anymore and obviously uh, people that uh, are still still not so smashed as I was in that case uh, have it a lot easier to uh, get to the front there and just hurt the other guys so at this time uh, of the race I was pretty much out of the race already because um, definitely I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to catch back up to the group in front because I obviously um, I just fell out of the group and on the left side here you see the chase pack uh, coming up it's kind of like the, the main pack the, the biggest pack in the field and yeah I was still hoping to maybe ride with those guys and maybe getting back to the lead um, but yeah, as I said, my, my legs were already feeling terrible, so I didn't have too much confidence that uh, that would end up to be a good race. But nevertheless, I was still hoping to to ride with those guys. And if you have a larger pack, it's easier to hide from the wind. Uh, so I was optimistic to be able to ride in that pack. Um, of course, uh, I had to realize when they came that I wasn't able to and my legs were just so terrible on that day. Yeah, this is kind of like the um, last section and then you turn left um, into the transition zone area and they really built up uh, the whole course there uh, from scratch. So there's normally there's a beach there and they build up kind of a ramp over the beach here so everything that that is blue uh, was built up over the beach um, to just for the triathlon course and even for the qualification event so uh, it's really like a, a lot of to, a lot to organize there and it's it looks kind of slippery uh, but to be honest um, it actually isn't there is it has like a, a rough surface on it um, that is really not slippery I, I, I'm not sure if I'm I'm too confident because it's a little a little bit um, rough and uh, like a lot of bumps in it because it has these panels uh, built together but it's definitely not too dangerous in the rain the carpet on the other hand uh, is like really soaked with water and uh, it was kind of rough to ride through the carpet because uh, you just waste so many watts uh, going over that, that uh, surface of the carpet. So now that the main group uh, caught up with me I was kind of hoping to just stay in there and uh, maybe relax for a few seconds and then be able to ride with them but as you can see even in that group uh, I always struggle to, to catch back up after the corners because I just didn't have the legs for uh, accelerating that hard and yeah there's a gap and there's still a few people behind me um, that will overtake me and yeah I just I, I try to get into the slipstream but uh, there's also the wind coming from the left side here 
and as you can see everybody's kind of like uh, tending to go into the draft on the right side and I just struggle to, to find the draft, don't have the legs and everybody is passing me um, and when it gets strung out again I'll just drop off that pack again. <laughs> So I'm uh, not gonna show you the rest of, of my race because basically I was going alone for quite a while and then uh, the, the pack of shame caught up with me uh, of like the, the four or five last guys in the field. That's definitely not where you want to be, especially if you come out in a really good position after the, after the swim. But I hope that uh, you kind of got an idea of the Olympic course and I'll be uh, looking forward to seeing the guys race next year uh, in the Olympics. And if you are racing in the Olympics, then I hope I could help you a little bit um, with um, a little bit of a description of the course. And yeah, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time, guys.